So we have created a Redshift crawler. We saw S3 crawler. So in this video, we'll see how to populate data into the Redshift database from S3. So in my S3, we already saw this YouTube demo or the YouTube CSV demo. I have another file called link.csv. So basically this is the data that we want to populate in the link table we created in Redshift. So we are going to transfer data from or copy data from S3 to Redshift using glue. And we are going to utilize this uh, data. So you can add additional rows over here. So we have ID and then the link and then the description. So we are going to copy this data to Redshift. So to, for that, we are going to go to glue. First of all, let's create another crawler. So I'm going to add a crawler, a link S3 crawler. So we're going to crawl the link and then we're going to specify the path. Click next. So we can add data from multiple data sources, but we're just going to select one, choose an existing IAM role. We have seen all this run on demand database. Let's put it inside link, click next and click finish. So now we'll wait for this link crawler to finish. First of all, we'll have to run it. So once it's finished, we'll see how to transfer the data from link crawler to a link from S3 to Redshift. So now our S3 link crawler is ready. So now let's go to jobs, click on add job and then we are going to name the job as S3 to Redshift link. And then we are going to select our same IAM role. Job type, let's keep it as Spark. The other option is Python shell. This job will run a script generated by Glue. And rest all would be same. These are some temporary directories that Glue will use for our job. And then I'm going to click next. So over here, we have to choose the source data. So that would be our S3. So the link CSV file next. Now we'll choose the target data source and that would be our Redshift location, the Redshift over here, click next. So now we have our source and our data and Redshift was able to determine and map the source to the data by itself. We didn't have to do anything. I'm sorry, AWS Glue was able to determine the source and the target columns and looks fine. We don't need to change anything. So I'm going to save job and script edit. So this will now generate a Python script for Spark that would do the data transfer for us. So we have the script ready. All I'm going to do now is click on run job and then click on run job. So now it's going to run the job and we'll be able to see the logs over here. And once it's completed, we'll be able to see the data in Redshift or not. We'll see, we'll find out. So we'll wait for it to run the job and then we'll be back.